Forging a Flat Chisel Welcome to this session on forging a flat chisel. In the previous session, we learned different operations and the heating process involved in forging. We will now proceed to forge a flat chisel. Objectives Let's now look at the key objectives. At the end of this session, you will be able to Identify the tools required for forging Forge an octagonal flat chisel Let's first see the required tools and supplies. We would require an anvil, files, hammers, hot set and cold set, tongs, MS round steel bar with dia 30 mm, grinder, steel flat piece, hacksaw blade with frame, bevel protractor, vernier caliper, sand, flatter, and scriber. Now let's see the dimensions of the chisel to be forged. The total length of the chisel is 180 millimeters and the crosswise length of the flat portion is 30 millimeters. The cutting angle of the chamfer is 60 degrees and the chamfered end size is 15 millimeters of 12 millimeters. Let's look at the steps involved in forging an octagonal flat chisel. 1. Cut the raw material to its proper size. 2. Heat the steel bar to a forging temperature. 3. Draw out the octagonal shape to size. 4. Forge the chamfered head. 5. Mark 120 millimeters from the chamfered head. Forge the flat taper to size at the forging temperature. Cut off the extra length with a hot set. Finish the chisel with the help of a flatter. Check the dimensions. Use goggles while grinding. Grind the cutting edge of the chisel to a 60 degree angle and check. Reheat the forged chisel uniformly along its full length to a cherry red color for annealing. Insert the whole chisel into dry sand or lime powder for slow cooling and annealing. Heat about 20 mm of the tapered end of the chisel to a cherry red colour and quench the chisel in water for hardening. Remove and clean the edge with a file. Heat.
heat another steel piece to approximately 1200 degrees Celsius. Place the cleaned cutting edge of the chisel over the heated metal and observe the oxide colours. When a dark purple colour is seen, quench the chisel in water. Cut a piece of mild steel and check the hardening and tempering. File and finish the workpiece. We have now successfully forged an octagonal flat chisel and checked its hardening and tempering. With that, we have come to the end of the session. In this session, we have learned to identify the tools required for forging, forge an octagonal flat chisel, 